this lesson, we're going to look at the importance of call tracking. And I'm going to skip over this as quickly as I can because it is an advanced topic. Um, but I just wanted you to know that it's all possible and there are some additional resources outside of the lesson that will go into more detail on this. So let's dive into the screen share and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so with phone numbers, you typically just buy phone numbers and assign them to users and that becomes the default inbound and outbound phone numbers for those users. When you start to get advanced in the marketing side of things where you're running multiple campaigns that are driving a phone call to action, meaning whatever you're trying to do, the call to action is the uh, desired outcome of the campaign or the ad is a phone call. Then you might want to split that out into different phone numbers and you might be doing it um, over several different geographic areas which requires the formatting of that phone number to change based on where the person is. Now this is an advanced thing. So if it's not related to you, skip on, go to a different lesson. But to show you how that would work, you look at the number pools section. You're going to add a number pool and then you're going to look at whether or not you want to just track visitor activity across a number of uh, different numbers or if you're just looking at tracking all callers on a single campaign. The easiest way to explain this is to just walk through this one. So create a tracking number. So you start with a number, you go, great, give me a pool of numbers. And let's just say I'm running Google PPC and I'm gonna forward calls to wherever they need to go. And now we've got our tracking options and then we're going to say check availability and I need to go back and give this a American One second. okay so back to using an American number uh, now we've got uh, available numbers and we can then select the features so you might say, okay, well, every time I get a call, um, I'm going to say call from the source uh, and that can be whatever you like, or again, call recording, and then you can go activate number. So then remember, this is a single number. And then what you would do is you would click the link against that number. And so you're saying, okay, here is the format that can be swapped in and out for the pool number. So this is what someone sees and what they think they're dialing, but actually what they're dialing is below. So this is what you're gonna copy and paste onto say a website or a funnel or whatever. Now, if you've got the script, which you'll find here and our own growthable help is getting in the way, that button. Here we go. Click the little information icon. So here's the snippet. So we can copy that. Then if we're in a funnel, right? So sites, let's just go to a funnel and that has a phone number in it. You paste the script there like I've done in this Here's one I prepared earlier type situation. And so that script will recognize anywhere on the page that it sees that number and it'll flip it basically. So it'll say it's either the, the, the source number, so 510, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but then it'll say, okay, well, I know where this person is based on their geolocation. It'll flip that into an international format and it'll call the pool number. So this is just the tracking number. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And then, of course, what that allows you to do is get deep on your attribution and reporting. So when you're looking at reporting and you're looking at call reporting, the sources is what you're going to be looking at here. Um, you want to know the top sources of where calls come from, how many were answers versus missed, etc. But this is all about the attribution of the call reporting. All right, big topic there. 
uh, have covered it off in five minutes. Um, does have a lot of different elements, variables, and goes into a ton of detail, but just to give you an idea of getting started with call tracking and attribution. Okay, that's it for this lesson. See you in the next one.